imagine your best possible self. This is a, an exercise that is a lot of fun because visualization and daydreaming tend to bring you joy no matter how old you are. And this is a way of harnessing it to make you more optimistic and more infectiously optimistic. The technique, and there are a range of, of ways of doing this, but in my view, the best way is find a quiet place on your own, in the lounge room, your bedroom, um, going for a walk in a forest or by the sea. And then spend some time, ideally at least five minutes, imagining your life if everything goes right, with your family, with your health, with your career, in your society. What would you look like? What would you be doing? And then spend 10 minutes, no more, writing about a day in your life, five years hence. You could be on holidays, you could be at work, you could be at home. And just write about what that day in your life looks like. Who would you be with? What would you be doing? What would you be eating and drinking? Would you be exercising? Would you be swimming? So spend 10 minutes doing that. And then walk away from, from either the computer or, or the journal you've been using. Go for a walk and just think about that. Now, the evidence is that for most people, there's an immediate uplift. Just spending that time in positive daydreaming and positive visualization lifts you up. And the evidence for most people, again, is it will come back into your mind several times in the following week or weeks. And then the trick is to do it again on a regular basis, um, ideally quarterly. Um, some people do it more often and, and during the pandemic lockdowns, there were some universities that were getting students to do it every day. But my recommendation is it's not an everyday activity. It's a, a serious piece of work um, that ideally you can do on the change of seasons every three months and set aside that half an hour, maybe put it in your diary now for the next year or five years, every change of season to imagine your best possible self.